evening good evening people of god how are you i hope you're having an amazing tuesday <laughs> it's hot out here so please stay hydrated please stay hydrated it is showing 100 degrees on my car temperature and i was just talking to a gentleman where he told me that the um the heat index is actually 107 for the day or something like that so please stay hydrated in jesus name um what i want to say is um I, first of all i hope everybody slept well last night i didn't get up early this morning so it's late in the day for me because i needed extra rest from yesterday i had a long day yesterday i didn't get done i think i started my day at 5 a.m and i didn't get done to close to 11 o'clock last night so i was really really drained and that's why i slept late today because i needed to invest in myself more rest more time i need to nurture myself right um but <laughs> what i want to say were you smelling on me for daniel what i want to say is that people of god you know what i realize it's like we are human beings um created from our father he knew many of us before we were in the mother's in our mother's womb that's where we came from the soul longs for love acceptance you know um feedback but as i was reading a, a young lady's comment and several sisters of i think five of you commented and you all had the same type of experience all of you and one the last young lady that commented she said i'm going through this um right now i've been betrayed and it hurts so bad but i thank god he's exposed what happened um, a friend for many years you know betrayed her and then another friend said she'd been betrayed by um, another sister said she stopped licking my arm girl what's wrong with my teeth Damn, y'all should be cool by now. The air is blasting. Um, another young lady said she's been betrayed by a friend of 10 years, you know. Um, and you all see that you have, you're not the only one who's gone through that. You know, David even said it was the one that I broke bread with. You know, there's truly nothing new that we see. Hey, hey. Cause you right there by my jaw. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. Get out. That's why I tell you by sitting right in front of that bench. <laughs> Damn your foot slide down. There's truly nothing new under the sun. You know? And um, what I want to say is what came to my spirit as, as I read everybody's comment. You know what comes to my spirit is the more we um, as we continue to grow in this earth, you know, the more you keep your personal intimate affairs of your life private and you study and learn people first, you know, um, keep your guards up, give people an opportunity to be themselves and give people grace and mercy, but be fair at learning the contents of an individual's character, of their heart, of their mind, you know, the Bible tells us in the last days, uh, men's love will will wax cold, you know. People's love turn to hate, you know. And then sometimes when people see you accomplishing things, they can be your friend for 15 years as long as you've been beneath them and they've been the one that um, they consider themselves above you, you know. Uh, they can be your friend for over 15 years. They can know you for over 20 years. It's a very painful thing. But at the same time, we too must accept accountability because there may have been sometimes we ignore red flags because we don't want it to be what we see and what we feel and then you learn how to respect and obey and and follow your discernment because you don't want to see the negative thing you don't want to did, 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 did she just really do that to me and in, in, in the midst of this did that and you just okay you, you ignore stuff but ignoring things could cause you your life, you know? So we have to accept accountability because sometimes there were parts of us where we may, if we if we all look back over our lives, there were maybe red flags or things that we ignored. And also there may have been things about us that weren't truly healed that kept us holding on to um, broken 
friendships or broken people, you know. And as we begin to continue continuously grow in Christ, and sometimes it's, it, that doesn't have to be the case. Sometimes you could just be a nice person and people feel like they could just drain you or take you through the ring or they take your kindness for weakness, you know. And then you also have to learn how to put up those barriers and learn how to say no and learn to give over your or share your attention or your time or your resources or the things that you have access to with those who are deserving of it where you see that you're not being drained but actually um, all of your efforts are being reciprocated even if it's not in the same form that you give it but it's if it's being reciprocated you know and so as we learn these things moving forward in life you know we just learn to make better decisions and, 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 and I believe that keeping the details of our lives private, a lot of it private, knowing who and when to share and not oversharing sometimes, even if you're trying to be transparent and just be truthful, not oversharing sometimes because the adversary that we, the scripture says the adversary roams to and from seeking whom he may devour. And some people will sit and try to just collect things on you for no good reason, just because they don't like you. You know, so when you are more guarded, um, sometimes it can make you feel like, is there something wrong with me? And maybe I just don't trust nobody. Sometimes we can fall into that space too, where we begin to say, hey, I can't trust nobody. But what always comes back to my spirit when I get there, because sometimes I've gotten there more than once. I don't trust nobody, you know. Um, and it's easy to get there because you see how deceptive people can be. But what comes back to my spirit a lot is, you are not the only person. If you are a good person, if you are who you say you are, you can't be the only person that's good. You can't be the only person that's with a pure heart. You know, you can't be the only person that good people in this earth. And many of you are beginning to even connect with each other. You know, you're talking with each other, praying for one another. You know, that's very uh, encouraging and inspiring to see that and witness that people from all over the over the world you know um so but it, it's good to you know I, I think that we maintain a level of peace in our life when we don't just freely share you got to test people's spirit you got to test people's heart you know and uh and that takes time that takes time right so We'll have more peace in our lives. In my opinion, it's just my little two cents. Ain't no pressure. You know, it's my little two cents. I think that we will maintain peace in our life, you know, when we, uh, the, the more of our intimate, the details of our life, when we keep our lives private, you know, and you share with those who you know that mean you well, who you know that will get down on their knees and pray for you, who you know that truly love you you know that truly love you so that's all i wanted to share i hope you all continue to have an amazing day i'm going to uh i think i'll pick up me a smoothie for lunch and then uh, and then find some I don't, i'm not doing no cooking today i'm not doing no cooking i don't feel like doing anything other than running the little errands I got to run and I get back to work tomorrow early tomorrow but when I walked out that door and I felt that heat I was like oh no everything canceled <laughs> and it's late to it I don't like to start work late I like to start doing what I got to do early because you know the early bird still catches the worm you know Start early and finish early, which I thought that was going to be the case yesterday. But man, oh man, I ran into so many things that I wasn't expecting. But it happens. That's what happens. You know, they say it costs to be the boss. But um, y'all have a blessed day. If nobody told you that they loved you today, I'm going to tell you right now. You are loved. Your little country bunkin sister loves you. Yep, it's only one of you in this whole world. You are unique in your own way keep striving for perfection keep being a good person on purpose you know keep growing keep learning every day keep learning yeah help somebody else share what's on the inside of you and god to send people across your path to help you 
right? May not come from who you want it to come from, but oh, just know, help is on the way, baby. It comes. It will come because whatsoever a man sow, that shall he also reap, and that's good or bad, right? So anyway, y'all have a blessed day. I love you.